So this is the third edition of our weekly China marketing news. It's going to be me, Tate, uh, Nara, and Lawrence, my colleagues. And here we go. So we're going to talk about um, the pressure that Chinese white collar workers have. Yeah, uh, I think that's our interesting topic for today. Um, before we started, I want to ask two questions to Lawrence. Yeah. Um, actually, um, when you go to the toilet, will uh -huh. you take take the phone with you? Uh, most <laughs> of my time, if I just go to the toilet, I will not. Okay. So, how many times will you go to the toilet during the work? Uh, I mean, uh, in your working day, one of the working day. Okay. So Teddy is here. So I shouldn't say <laughs> a lot of times because otherwise. Um, Generally, I will go probably five to seven times per day, I think. Okay. Actually, I think the topic is a little um, sensitive, but uh, actually um, this topic uh, can also, uh, it also provides a, a special point of view to see that Chinese people are under big pressure. Uh, because uh, this week, one company, Lago website, they did a research for those uh, Chinese white collar workers. Um, they tried to figure out what they usually do when they are in the toilet. And uh, um, actually 60% of people said they will check their moments. 32% people, 32% uh, said they will shopping in the toilet. I mean, check Taobao or JD. And uh, only 35 people, they, they do nothing. And also, 18% of people they are crying they are they are crying in the toilet and uh, but also there are 51% people they are working in the toilet i just want to say uh, actually currently in china for those um, white collar workers they are all under big pressure so sometimes when we leave the office when we go to the toilet we have the feeling that um, I'm, I'm, I'm alone. I just want to stay away from my work and I just want to stay alone. Sure. It's, a, well, it's a way for us to... What, what's the situation of this, of this toilet, this toilet work, toilet cry, toilet shop? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, what, what kind of toilet is this? Are, is this, this is at work or, or what? Uh, usually in the office or some uh, building like, like our office, we will have yeah. the toilet out of the office. So sometimes we will just leave our workplace and go to the toilet. Yeah, sure. So in the office that we're at there now in, in Nanjing, like the, the, mm -hmm. boys, the boys' bathroom is not very nice. But um, yeah. if I go in there, there usually be a guy or two guys in there uh, like smoking a cigarette <laughs> or something. And I think it takes a while to smoke a cigarette and that's not a very nice place to be for very long. Like it would be a lot better to just go into the stairwell or, or go outside or something. So I'm really curious, like our listeners might not know, but a lot of the bathrooms in China are not as nice as the bathrooms in Canada or, or USA or somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. It's not yeah. that nice to hang out. They can be, uh, they can be dirty. They can be stinky. They can have the smoke smell too because people there's smoking. Um, yeah. So it's, I don't, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like a very <laughs> nice place to hang out. I'm kind of surprised that they would <laughs> hang out there so long and, and do so much stuff in there. Yeah, even they are dirty, but it's still a place that you can just stay alone. You can leave your office, your team members, your, I mean, every, um, every problems or troubles. So it's, I think it's, um, in, in China, it's already a place for Chinese, um, what's called, what call workers to relax maybe just the candles okay so this this news is not really very important but it's kind of funny and it's just yeah. you just wanted to share it to underline like how much pressure white collars work white collar workers are under because they escape to these toilets which are not all, always very nice to to do their own thing right yeah absolutely. yeah yeah okay well and then when it comes to marketing too i mean I often like to, to mention that or I like to slip it in mm -hmm. just to, to point out where people are using their phones or where they might be you're reading an article or consuming uh -huh. some type of marketing content that we put out. And one of the big ones is the subway, you know, 
that's like uh-huh. one of the first places I think of and then at, and then at home but also um, also on the toilet or any, anywhere else all sorts of different places right yeah um, I think if we talk about marketing uh, actually in my mind if um, just a quick idea maybe some maybe some people or some companies they can came out some they can do some promotion in the toilet because people really stay a long time there. So maybe mm, that's just a crazy idea. Well, you know, one th- one thing I came across lately um, uh, was some people talking about how Facebook knows that you are on the toilet. Like when you're on the toilet, Facebook mm-hmm. knows and they're watching you and they might even adjust their advertising um, for you while they're in the toilet. Can't find the... Uh, image of it right now oh that like how, how, did, how did they know that yeah how did they do that like, how did they know you're on toilet yeah. or you're just sitting on a chair well that's just one of those weird things that came into my mind as we're talking i might have to look it up and uh check it out <laughs> check it out bring it up another time here we should see if companies in china also adapt any of their advertising for toilets Oh, that's crazy. Like, yeah. Like, how did an app like know that you're actually sitting on the toilet? Like, based on your location, but mm-hmm. you're at home. Like, a bit, oh. Yes, based on based on your your movement and the movement of the phone, and where like and where you are. Are you at home or where are you? I think that they can check a couple different factors and and know. Yeah, that's that's my guess. <laughs> We're off topic here. This is just my guess. We have not researched this. 